Okay, so in this case now, they've given us the shaded region, we need to come up with the um, equations, okay, to represent the, the lines, okay, and then identify them even better than with an inequality, show exactly where, where we've shaded this. You can see the first one's given, x is less than or equal to 3, that's x equals 3, isn't it? Less than it means you that side. If you look at this now, horizontal line, of course that would be y equals to minus 1, wouldn't it? That would be your... Um, horizontal line, okay, because um, it goes through y equals minus 1. But ask yourself, then, are we above or below? Well, we're above it, aren't we? We're above it, so that means it's got to be greater than, okay? So that means we've got to y is greater than or equal to a minus 1. So we can fill that in down here. Um, the other one, then, we've got this here, okay, this line here. Now, with this line, of course, it's sort of diagonally sort of line, so we need to work out the um, y-intercept, okay? Cuts the y-axis at 0, okay? So c is actually equal to zero right because it because it cuts the y-axis there and then we need to get the gradient so if you just pick two points here okay to get a triangle um just do a triangle here you see then the gradient will be well that rises to and we're going across one so the gradient then will be the rise divided by the step which is two divided by one which is just 2, and it is positive 2 because it's sloping upwards, so your equation to form y equals mx plus c, yeah, will be y equals 2x plus 0, of course, right, which is just y equals 2x, isn't it? And now you've got to ask yourself, are we above or underneath? Well, because um, we're underneath this line, underneath the line, that means it's got to be less than, okay, so we'd say y is less than or equal to 2x, and I'll box it.